my name's Jane Pearl. I'm married to Ian and we have three lovely children. Sari and Tali who are twins and they're six years old. And Hanochi or Noki who's coming up for three. Hanochi has a very rare Jewish genetic condition called familial dysautonomia which affects his autonomic and sensory nervous system. Ian and I hadn't heard about FD until after Hanochi was born and had problems. The only Jewish genetic disorder that we knew of was Tay-Sachs. He was diagnosed at five months of age, although he did have problems from soon after he was born. We knew something was happening with him, but nothing was found. In the December of the year he was born, when he was about three months old, we had a terrible week um, where in the space of eight days he stopped breathing at home three times. On the third occasion I had to give him mouth to mouth resuscitation on the hall floor upstairs. And while I was doing that Ian was calling the ambulance and speaking to them. Um, it was a night where there was really heavy snow and it took a little bit of time for them to arrive. They said to us they wouldn't be able to let him home until they got to the bottom of what was causing these problems with his breathing. A close family friend of ours has a cousin whose son has the same condition and I think she suspected the worst when I was describing his inability to swallow and it was six weeks after that that we did receive the diagnosis from the genetic lab. It is challenging to, to have a child with FD, although he's lovely and full of joy and you know enjoys whatever he does because he doesn't feel pain in the same way he can injure himself um, much more easily than another child. A few weeks ago, we noticed he had a limp um, and took him for an x-ray and he had a possible hairline fracture of his foot, but none of us knew when that happened. Are you going to sit here and have lunch? Day to day, all the normal things that you would do, like feeding, for example, he can't swallow. So everything that he has is given via a tube straight into his stomach through a gastrostomy. Are you having a drink? He has had um, twice an operation to sort of tie off the top of his stomach to prevent aspiration of food from his stomach into his lungs. Um, he still is aspirating his saliva because he's not able to manage that. So he is very, very prone to chest infections. He struggles, you know, labours with his breathing quite often. Because his lungs have damage to them now, at night time when he goes to sleep and his breathing is a bit shallower than it is in the day when he's awake, he needs supplementary oxygen given to him. In addition to that, he's globally delayed, he's not really speaking very much. He has a few words, but he's never been able to use his mouth to eat, which is part of the process that children would need to use their mouth to, to speak and form the words. We watch him struggle every day um, and it's something that is unnecessary now when genetic testing is available and easily affordable. Having genetic testing um, enables a family to make an informed choice um, before they have children. It's not too late after a couple are married. There are ways now, um, processes through IVF and pre-implantation genetic diagnosis that two carriers of a genetic condition can have children um, and know that they won't be affected. It would save a lot of heartache in the future.